Good day, chemist in Japan. De gozaimasu. A couple of days ago, I stopped by uh, the glass shop downstairs, and the glass blower was uh, making some vessels out of quartz. Now, quartz glass um, requires extremely high temperatures to melt, um, so that um, he can shape it into whatever design he needs to. And so, um, I just happened to be there. And uh, I wasn't very prepared for it, but I went ahead and took some video. And uh, so this is video of him uh, making some sort of vessel uh, out of quartz. And because quartz has to be heated really, really hot, quite hot, um, we use a special filter uh, so that you can see. And um, so he wears he wears a big helmet that um, you know allows him to see what he's doing because it's so bright, it's quite hot. And uh, I have a smaller one, and I stuck that in front of the, um, the lens, and you'll see how bright it really is. So, um, but uh, quartz requires high, high heat uh, in order to, um, to soften so that it can be shaped um, into what it needs to be. So this is just, you know, out of the blue. Um, so there's some mistakes in the video, <laughs> uh, but you'll see. But anyway, so this is the glass blower working with quartz. Enjoy. Oh, you are not a few hundred years old. I'm sorry, I just don't know. I just don't know how to feel that. <laughs> well, they do say you're only as old as you feel. Well, as you get older, you feel older. That's a big claim. You'll see. You'll find when you're younger, your, your weight doesn't bother you as much, and, might, and might, as a matter of fact, it'll make you feel stronger. But eventually, that'll go the other way. So why are you putting these two pieces together? Just for a holder. Oh, holder. A lot of belts up over there. So that's a graphite rod shaping the bottom of that glass there. Uh -huh. Being on this side of the that torch is really hot. He's using the graphite rod there again to... Graphite is burning up. Yeah, the graphite is burning there. Oh, yeah. But he's uh, using it to paper the, the tube.
You can see the tip of the graphite rod there is uh, red hot. When pork works, you have a bucket of water over here to cool that off with regular because it'll get too hot to handle a little while. The flame he's using is only oxygen and uh, natural gas. And now he's pulling off the other tube. See the difference? That's fire, that's pork, this is fire there. See the difference? Yeah, big difference. That orange, that orange you see coming off there is sodium. Yeah. That's Pyrex. No, that's no, pork. That's pork. Oh, it's pork with pyrex on it. That's running off of it, see? That's a, that's a piece of pork. See how white it is? Yeah, yeah. He can tell just by looking. I can't. I hope so. So right now you're just purging? Yeah. I'm purging it while it cools down in there. As it cools down, it draw, it, it lets that uh, uh, air in there uh, collapse a little bit instead of being expanded. So it, when it draws back, it draws back what, uh, the argon mm -hmm. that I'm purging with. So I'm doing everything I can to replace everything in there with leave nothing but argon. Now see if I had a vacuum system tied onto there, I could suck a vacuum, backfill with, with that just a little bit, with a little bit of argon, and then seal it off and be under a vacuum with argon, just like they make neon uh, lights. I would like I would like to get with some people and learn how to make neon lights. Yeah. I think it'd be fun. Well if you do take me with you. Pardon me? If you do take me with you. Yeah I think you'd like it.
Go Big Ten.